Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Since I have posted uh, this design on my uh, Instagram account, I had a lot of requests from my followers to explain them step by step on how I created uh, this lovely ready in red social sailor. So let's begin. So we start the tutorial by using uh, this photo of the water and then by using hue and saturation and selective color I have uh, changed the color of the water. You can, you know, use anything like hue and saturation, selective color, color balance and or anything that you want to change the colors. So in my case, I have um, used the selective color and played a bit with the science and magenta on the neutrals. All right. And then I have made everything darker by uh, adding uh, levels, adjustment layer and dragged the white slider more to the left all right so this is the levels and then um, I have added this uh, photo of the sky uh, and added a small mask to mask that bottom area of the sky and then I have du duplicated the layer and uh, I have uh, placed it underneath flip it uh, vertically as you can see is the same layer and I just flip it vertically you know you can do that uh, by uh, duplicate the layer, I press Ctrl and J to duplicate it, then Ctrl T and right click and flip it vertically and just drag it underneath that layer. So this is how you can uh, flip a uh, photo. Alright, so this is the layer and then I have added a displacement map on it. So I have a tutorial on how to create a reflection so a few months ago I have created this uh, tutorial on how to create realistic reflections using displacement map. You should watch it, I'll give you the link for it, it's really nice and you can add a reflection to any image that you have. It takes just a few minutes and uh, the result is just amazing. So if you look at that tutorial you will understand how to add uh, this uh, displacement map and um, make this uh, bottom area look like a reflection. And then I have added a mask and kept only this uh, side of my reflection where the sky meets the water. All right, and then I have added a moon. Uh, we have this uh, photo of the moon and um, the layer is set to screen, not normal. I have set the layer to screen to hide that black surrounding of the moon, of the moon image. And then I have added a mask to make the moon more round than the original image and then I have added uh, two small white reflections inside the moon and also outside on the right part I have added this uh, small uh, reflection using a normal layer and then another one which is more sharpened. So this is what I did on the top right part and then I have placed everything into one group and on that group I just used a mask and mask the left area of the moon because I didn't want the moon to be really that visible. All right, and then I have added a glow inside the moon and here it will be my uh, lady in red and uh, this glow will help her to be more visible. All right, and then between the sky and the water, I have added this fog. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, you can use any uh, brush that you have with a uh, fog or clouds or anything like that. Just create a new layer in our case, uh, let's say that you are using this uh, brush that I use it in my previous tutorial and the flow should be really low, like 9-10%. Just make it bigger and just start to paint around and then change it, uh, the, change the opacity and uh, I think something like that looks good. All right, so this is uh, the fog between the sky and the water and then let's move on with the main characters of our design. All right, so we have uh, this uh, picture of the boat and then I have uh, added a mask and selected only the boat and uh, I have a rust photo that uh, I have placed it inside. This uh, photo of uh, some rust, some metal rust and I have placed it inside and I have set the layer to luminosity, not normal because a normal look like that and uh, I wanted to keep that uh, original colors of my boat. So I set the blending mode to luminosity and then I have copied the same layer on into the right side of my boat and I have added a small mask to have this rust only on the bottom area. 
and then I have made it everything darker uh, by using levels and also brightness. I decrease the brightness and here also the lights. And then I have uh, added more shadows by using uh, a method with the soft light. If you don't know this method already from my previous tutorials, let me quickly show you. So go to the layer, new layer and choose blending mode to be soft light and don't forget to check 50% gray. And now if you take the brush tool and the soft brush and uh, switch to the black color and if you paint with black where the picture already has black or dark areas, it will make that part even darker. So now if I paint with black on the dark parts uh, of my image will make that uh, those parts even darker. So I'm just painting with black uh, on the bottom of my boat because I wanted that part to be even darker and uh, this is uh, how I do the shadows. All right. So this is the layer that I have here on soft light and then I have a uh, added this hue and saturation because I wanted to have this part of the boat brownish uh, color and um, I have changed the hue and also the saturation because the back area of the boat was uh, of course not really not that nice I have added a selective color and I decreased uh, the science and the magentas to make that part uh, gray all right and then uh, I have added a uh, vibrance and I have decreased the saturation a lot and we are ready to move on to the part where we have uh, those emojis inside the boat so I have placed those emojis um, on that right part of the boat because the main thing of uh, this uh, design was uh, that she's sailing and uh, she's uh, gathering likes and uh, hearts and uh, loves and so something like that so I have placed uh, those emojis on the right side of my boat and let's zoom in um, so those are the emojis uh, I have placed them one by one and then between them I have uh, added some shadows because uh, usually uh, every object casts a shadow on the object that is beneath him or underneath him or in the back so uh, just uh, I have added some shadows underneath some layers of uh, the emojis so this is the emoji part and then on the emojis I have added uh, a levels adjustment layer to make them darker and of course another one with brightness and contrast and uh, they look now uh, much better. Alright so those are the emojis we have the boat the emojis and now let's go to our lady. So the original photo was something like that since uh, I saw it I uh, had this uh, design in my head. So I have to buy this image from deposit photo and um, I have uh, selected her and then I have placed her uh, on top of my boat. So uh, then I have uh, used a mask and select only that part of uh, the lady without the boat. So then because the original uh, photo had uh, this paddle like a stick and I didn't really like it I had to add my own paddle and I have added the mask to match the paddle with the water to make it like uh, it's inside the water. And then I have made a copy of this paddle and I have placed it inside the stick on the top part because the stick was uh, something like that and it didn't match the paddle texture so I have just made a copy and place it inside the layer with the lady and mask those parts to have that part in the back not in the front of her hair all right and then I have added a shadow underneath her dress and then I wanted her dress to look much better and uh, I have added a small blue fabric that uh, I had and it looked like that and of course I try to match the colors with the original dress by adding a hue and saturation and colorized wash check. So this is the group with them and then on those uh, groups I have added a selective color and I have played with neutrals. And here I have increased all the science magenta yellow and black to have my image pop up more and the colors are more vibrant like that. And then I have added a level adjustment layer and I have decreased the light to have everything darker. And then by using the same soft light method I uh, painted with black 
all over to make uh, this image even darker. And then a thing that I love to do, always I love to do, is painting the hair. So as you can see, this is the hair that I did because the original selection wasn't uh, really that good. So I just painted the hair on top of her hair. So this is the hair and then I have placed a placed it a lamp uh, here on the front of the boat. This is the lamp and because I didn't want the lamp to be placed uh, here like that because it doesn't uh, really match well with my idea, I had to draw something like a stick like this one. Let me quickly show you how I did it. So take uh, create a new layer, take the art brush, set it to 100%, something like that and just draw something like a stick. All right, and then if you double click on the layer style, uh, just add a bevel and emb emboss. And if you want, you can add also a pattern. Uh, in my case, is this pattern, which is something like a rust. And as you can see, it already looks nice. So this is how I created the lamp holder on the boat. And then I have uh, changed the colors to something like more bluish by adding a hue and saturation. So then I have added that shadow and lights with the soft light that I just told you. And I made some parts of it uh, lighter and some parts darker. So if you paint with black, it will uh, make those parts darker. And if you paint with white, it will make the light parts even uh, even whiter. So if you have a soft light and the flow around 4 or 5%, and if you paint with white, it will uh, make that part uh, even uh, lighter. So now let me teach you how I do my reflections. So if you look closer, I have uh, this layer and I have added some reflections on top of my lamp. Just create a new layer from the layer menu layer new layer and the mode should be linear dodge and fill it with black and then hit ok all right so we have our linear dodge layer zoom in take the brush tool and as i said the flow should be around four percent and now if you paint on the side uh, it will add with white color it will add that reflection that really nice reflection on that side this is how i created those uh, white reflections on my lamp and then uh, I have added by using the same uh, linear dodge, I have added some colors. So if you look at this uh, layer, you'll notice that it has uh, two squares on the right side. That means that I have applied a blend diff. So how do you apply this blend diff and what is this blend diff? It's uh, you have to double click on the layer. And if you see here, I have uh, this blend diff, but the sliders are one to the left and one to the right. So normally my layer would look like that. So I have painted with orange on the stick, but I didn't really like that uh, uh, orange because it's too bright and too strong. So I have uh, modified this blend. If so hold alt and drag the bottom left slider to the right. So what this does is dispersing the light more on the underneath layer, underlying layer. All right. So this is uh, how I did this uh, orange uh, reflection and then I have added more uh, orange reflection but this time under the stick. And then I have uh, placed all, all of them, the lamp, the boat and the lady and the emojis, I have placed them into one single group. And as you can see here on the right side of my screen I have uh, five uh, highlights <laughs> layers. And uh, I'd like always to use uh, more layers for the highlights, not just one, because I could have, uh, you know, just uh, one single highlights layer and uh, set it to linear dodge. But let's begin. So this is uh, one of them. As you can see, it adds some orange uh, reflection on the paddle and on the lady. You can go to layer, new layer and set the mode to linear dodge, fill it with black and then take the orange color and as I said the flow should be around uh, 3-4% and you have the brush selected and just zoom in and slowly paint where you have uh, those reflections and just uh, paint around with that orange. You know I'm uh, coloring with this uh, orange where I think the light should touch her and uh, of course the paddle and her dress a bit. If the effect is too strong you can switch to black color and just paint with black on this orange and you'll see that uh, the orange will become uh, more invisible. All right, so this is how I created this uh, orange reflection and then I did uh, another one, the same linear dodge 
and uh, this time I have uh, placed the reflection on the boat of this light that comes from the lamp. So uh, the same go to layer, new layer, linear dodge, fill it with black, take the orange color and just paint around the boat. Don't worry if the color is too intense. Uh, we will uh, use the blend if this time just double click, hold alt and click on this one on this slider and drag the right slider to the right and here it is the light is dispersed and it looks really nice so this is how i created uh, those reflections and then uh, i did the same thing but this time i painted it with white so this is one of the most important parts of my designs the white highlights uh, is the same thing just create layer new layer go to the linear dodge fill it with black and then of course white color and with the brush just paint on the sides where you want those white reflections to be i'm painting really carefully on uh, the parts where i want that uh, white light to be um, you know uh, this takes some time uh, it's not really just one click and you have the light all over uh, you need to think where the light should touch her face her uh, her fingers, her paddle, her hair, you know, and you should paint with that white uh, color on the sides of her body and her dress and always if you do a mistake just switch to black and paint with black where that light should not be, that white color should not be. Then switch again to white and just uh, slowly paint on her dress and uh, that's about it. So if you think that the white color is too light, just uh, change the flow to around 10% and continue to paint and uh, it will be a much stronger white color. So uh, this is uh, how I create uh, those uh, white highlights. Just paint it with white color where you think uh, it should uh, have that uh, white reflection. So uh, yeah, this is how I create uh, the white reflections. All right, so those are the white reflections. As I said, I just paint with white on the sides and uh, here and there I put some white color. All right, so those are the white ref reflections. And then, as I said, I always do uh, another layer. I'm not, uh, I could have uh, all the highlights into one layer, but I want to have, uh, let's say, the front into one single layer and the back into another layer. Because if I want to modify something, then I don't want to mess up the whole design. And of course, at the end, I added more highlights to emphasize uh, this uh, white color. So on top of everything, I created another one and just painted with more white. And now because we finished with the top part, we need uh, to move on with the bottom part. So uh, our boat and the lady and emojis and the lamp needs uh, some reflection into the water. So in our case, because we have everything into one single group, um, we should duplicate the group by pressing Ctrl and J and then Ctrl and I to merge all the things in that group into one single layer. And now with this layer, just press Ctrl T and flip it vertically. And now drag it underneath our boat. All right. And to this design, now I want to apply that displacement map to create this reflection. So uh, go to filter. Uh, desert, displace and hit OK. Let's say here we need 20 and then I'm going to choose the displacement map that I just told you that we created in another tutorial and it will add a really really nice reflection and I have set this one to soft light and place it underneath our group and then I have used the mask and uh, I have masked the bottom area with the black color because I want to hide most of the part of my reflection. All right, so those are the reflections that I did here under the boat. And uh, now let's move on to the social media icons. So I have this vector file from FreePick with all the icons that you have there or the social media icons. So I had to select uh, all of them 
and uh, to create a layer with every single icon from uh, this uh, vector. So we have uh, the social media group and uh, let me uncheck everything so you can see uh, from the beginning what I did here because uh, there are a lot of things going on. So every icon it's a, a group and uh, let me begin say Instagram. So this process is the same with all of them. I'm going to show you once so you can understand what I did here. So uh, we have the icon which I just selected it from the vector that I downloaded from FreePick. So this is just a, a layer and uh, as you can see now it doesn't really look good because it should be inside the water. So I added a mask to this uh, layer and uh, now if I paint with the black color on the bottom part it will hide that area and it looks like uh, it's inside the water. This is uh, the mask and then uh, just duplicate the layer uh, I'm holding Alt and drag it and Ctrl T and flip it vertically. Alright, so it's just underneath our layer and then I'm going to again filter, desert, displace and I'm using the same displace and map and of course now you have to adjust uh, the blending modes. In our case I used soft light and then on the mask I have uh, hidden the bottom area and I have created this uh, really nice reflection inside the water and then I did the same thing with the Facebook uh, the same with all of them so those are the icons that I have used and of course what I wanted I wanted to have uh, the ones that are in front they are bigger and the ones that are behind they are smaller this is what I did here with the social media icons and then I have uh, changed their colors uh, into something darker by using a levels adjustment layer. And then with another uh, brightness, I have decreased the brightness and made them even darker. So because we have a lamp on top of the icons, uh, I wanted that uh, lamp to reflect some colors on our icons. So I created a linear dodge and filled with black again. And I have painted with uh, the yellow color on some parts of our icons. This is really easy. Go to layer, new layer, choose a linear dodge, fill it with black, and then take the yellow color and uh, the brush. And of course you can paint here and there where the, the light should be from the, from the lamp. All right, and then if you think the color is too intense, you can use the blend if so double click and then uh, hold alt and drag the slider more to the right and here it is and then I have created another one with more orange because I wanted to have more colors not just that yellow so this is with yellow this is with the uh, orange so I think uh, it looks much better like that and then because we have three types of colors into our social media icons I try to have the same blue that Twitter has and Facebook has a different type of blue than Twitter, for example, or LinkedIn. So um, I try to match uh, those colors by using color balance. So I use color balance on the groups. And then uh, at the end, uh, I added uh, this uh, white reflection. So double click on the group with all the icons and then go to inner shadow. Here, be sure that the blend mode is set to linear dodge. And uh, you can play around with size. Of that reflection you can keep it like that it looks really nice like that also or you can uh, increase the size to have something more uh, like that so if you press ok you'll see that you'll have the inner shadow effect under the group so just right click on the inner shadow effect and then go and create layer click on the create layer it uh, made that effect a uh, layer and now if I drag this one to the top uh, it will look like something like that but don't worry. Now hold Alt and add an inverted mask. Everything now is hidden. So if we want to bring back some parts, just switch to white color and be sure that you are on the black mask and just paint on those parts that you want to have that reflection. So if you paint with white now, you'll see that it will bring back the reflection that we just uh, hide. I wanted to have some lights on my uh, lamp and uh, this is how it looks with the light and or the glow that I have on my lamp. So let me quickly teach you how to create this uh, type of glow 
I have explained this in another tutorial, but uh, for this tutorial sake, let me quickly have a demo of this method. So first thing, you need to create a new layer and set the blending mode to screen and then fill it with black. Okay, so this is our base. You can name this one base. Then create a new layer, hold Alt and be sure that you clip this one inside the green black layer. Then create a gradient map. So now if you look at the gradient map, we have uh, two colors. But in our case, the left color should be black and the right color should be white. So we have those two colors. Now, if you want to have a yellow glow or a orange glow, just set one color which is close to the black color, set it to orange. All right, so this color or even to a yellowish uh, tint, so something like that. Then uh, you move on and add another one, but more uh, light to the white side, something like that. And then the last one should be uh, something really, really close to white and hit OK. And also hold Alt and click between the layers to bring that gradient map inside our screen layer. And then if you um, draw with a white color on this uh, layer, this normal layer, uh, let me quickly demo, let me click draw on this la layer, you'll see that it will add that uh, really, really nice reflection, just like that. Be sure that the flow is really low. If you have a 100% flow and uh, you click once, it will do something like that. So if you're wondering why this doesn't work, it's because you have the flow set to 100. So be sure that the flow is set to around uh, even less than 10% and just one, click once. And then you can increase the size of the brush, click again, and here it is. It's really easy and it looks really nice. All right, so this is the uh, lamp light and then I have created some extra things. First of all, uh, which is the most important one is the camera row filter. Just uh, merge everything into one single layer. So press again Ctrl R Shift and I and you have created a new layer from all the layers. Right click, it's important to be smart object and convert it to a smart object. And then go to camera row you can find it here, filter, and then check camera row. In almost all my designs where I have a darker scene like this one, like a night scene, I increase the exposure and contrast and I decrease the highlights and I increase the shadows. And then, of course, to have more sharpness to my image, I add texture, clarity and dehaze. And um, then, of course, more sharpening from the detail side, noise reduction and color reduction. And on the color grading, I use highlights and midtones to the orange side and shadows are more to the blue side. And uh, I always add some grain to my image. As you can see, uh, this grain uh, makes my image more uh, compact and uh, more all together. But if you, want, if you like this uh, painted look like, you can uh, not uh, use the grain. But I love the grain. So... Uh, it uh, makes a huge difference. This is the original. This is with camera row uh, and I really like it like that. And then I have added uh, some blur here and there with using the fill blur. You can um, you can find the fill blur by going to filter blur gallery and then check fill blur. And um, on my design, I wanted to have the focus more on the boat and the lady. So here on the field uh, on the field blur, uh, you can add by clicking once on the screen, and you can add a blur where you click. So if I click here uh, and I play around with the slider, I add more uh, blur or less blur. And I have done this by decreasing uh, the amount of blur or increasing the amount of blur. So here on the front, I want to have more blur because it's two in the front, and uh, in the middle, I didn't want to have any blur. And of course, on the emojis, I want to have a small blur and on her dress. And uh, here in the back, I wanted to have more blur on the LinkedIn. And then I have desaturated a bit the colors. I have added uh, more things to my image. So uh, I have added my logo here on the boat and on the bottom part. 
and also some uh, sparkles around because uh, you know this is just a matter of preferences if you want to have more things flying around you can add uh, those glitterish uh, stuff or not I prefer it to add and then uh, I have uh, changed a bit the colors of the boat because I didn't really like that tones of uh, rusty brownish uh, look and I uh, made it uh, more reddish so uh, and then I thought that uh, our design is not really complete until we add a butterfly so I have added this uh, butterfly I'll give you the link to this butterfly and uh, I have added some lights by using the same method with a gradient map. So this is actually everything that I did in this design. It took me like around 8 hours to complete it but uh, today I try to explain you in a very very fast uh, way how I did everything and this is the final result. Anyways you can find me on Instagram we can chat there about this design or any other designs that I created. I hope that you already subscribe to this YouTube channel. I um, post every week a new tutorial where I try to teach you how I create my designs or new techniques that you can learn from me. So anyway, until next time, thank you for watching this tutorial. See you next time.